and welcome back to another video. My name is Funny and in this video we're going to do Swedish memes as books. So this was an idea that I came up with when I was just about to fall asleep as usual but I came up with this idea and I thought like wouldn't it be fun to like show you some typical Swedish memes that literally everybody knows about and to show you and talk to you about like what they mean in a way and kind of what book I think they should be like if there were a book. I will explain even more uh, as we get into the video but I just kind of wanted to let you know kind of what this is going to be about. I really hope you will like this video. Please stay even if you're doubtful but anyways let's get started. So at first I thought I would show you like typical Swedish memes that are like an Instagram. We have a lot of Instagram accounts that are basically only Swedish memes and that are really hilarious but after a while I got kind of doubtful about that and I will like it it's kind of the same meme all the time just different kind of situation of what's currently happening in Sweden like for example we have so many memes that are kind of like this with the Swedish king instead of Drake and then it's about something that's currently happening in Sweden we had an election in Sweden this year and we still don't know who's the prime prime minister and it has just been going on for like three months now soon too uh, so it's kind of a lot about that and I felt like that was wasn't as fun as I wanted this video to be but then I remembered we have so many fun videos that literally everybody knows about if you search for Swedish memes or svenska memes as you would say in Swedish you get these videos that are so fun and so I chose those videos that literally every Swede knows about that are kind of old but you know we all know what kind of videos they are so I have a lot of different ones and uh, let's just start. The first meme I have is this one. Your pizza bordo. Your pizza bordo. Fatani. Also, you're not more rotten. And I pity any girl who's in me today. This clip is from Swedish Idol, and then it was a person who he sang kind of not that good really and he got so mad at the jury for telling him that he couldn't sing and he is basically saying i'm pissing on them i'm pissing on them and just screaming a lot of stuff that he is very angry and you know stuff like that and for this meme i chose the book the son of neptune by rick riordan so this book this is the swedish version of the book by the way and this book i just thought it kind of fitted because i feel like percy in this book i don't remember exactly this book let me tell you it's been quite some time since i actually read the heroes of olympus but i remember you know percy being kind of mad at the gods because they keep on shitting on him and he just wants a normal life you know and that is kind of the person who didn't get accepted into idol he's kind of mad so i feel like percy was kind of mad in this book but he also is percy so he took it very well but yeah i still feel like that kind of fitted so yeah the next meme i have is one that everybody knows about and it is so funny and it is so this is a little guy in Sweden he has the special dialect that is kind of far up north not really the furthest up but it's it's a funny dialect in Sweden and he's basically saying that this is really funny and a chance like this you only get once in a lifetime so for this meme I chose Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone why you may ask well because hagrid literally just comes to harry and he's like harry you're a wizard and harry's like yeah fine sure like let's go <laughs> i feel like he is probably like yeah i will never get a chance to get away from the dudleys again so let's just do it let's go you know and i feel like that's kind of the same vibe as the guy had like once in a lifetime chance and that was what harry got basically so yeah next up we have one that is kind of not the same and not every yeah, this is a bit newer than the other ones but this is the most famous youtubers in sweden right now are called yuke and joma some year ago or something they have done the these huge ghost hunting videos and when they were on a ghost hunting trip they once had a live on facebook and they filmed you know the live and when they got there they were like hey wh what are you doing here when they come to another 
person in another room and he's like yeah I'm planning a ghost and <laughs> you look him the one behind the camera he's like um we're live on Facebook and they're like trying to you know play cool and pretend like he was joking but you know no one really knows if they were joking or if not but anyway this is the meme what are you doing Daniel? what will you do? you want to plan a spook? Jag kör live på Facebook. <laughs> so basically I would say this meme represents that you do something you really should not have done. Like you tell someone something that you should not have told them. So for this one I chose The Well of Ascension by Brendan Sanderson. This book is two books in Swedish if you wonder. And uh, yeah it just, I don't want to spoil but it happens something in this book that you're like oh you should not have said that and then it turns out it's someone who hears that that shouldn't have heard that like you kind of you kind of destroy it all for yourself because you just sp told them what you were gonna do which sucked so yeah the next one is also one that everybody knows about and this is a guy that is being interviewed at a school and they ask him do you know any spanish and he is like well, I'm, I'm just gonna show you the clip. Can you speak Spanish? Yes, yeah, it can end there. Por favor. <clears throat> Gracias, señorita. Oh, yeah, I can speak Spanish. He is like, yeah, that... Like, in Swedish you can say, Ja, yeah, det kan hända. And if I would translate that correctly, it would be, yeah, that can happen, which doesn't really make sense. He basically means, yeah, I do know some Spanish. And then you see, he wasn't very good at Spanish. So I would say this is like someone who says they're very good at something and then they're not really that good. Chris by Marissa Mayer. So basically I feel like Carswell Thorne in this series, who is also in Cinder and Scarlet, I think, yeah, in the end at least. Well, he is kind of he is kind of saying that he can do a lot more than he actually can, you know? I feel like he kind of fits this meme. Like, he's very confident in a lot of stuff when he might not be so good at it, you know? So, yeah. The next one is also hilarious. Before you see the meme, I just want to say that they are interviewing a guy in his van and he is saying a lot of horrible things. He talks about what he's gonna do to a person and I'm gonna talk about what he says after you've seen the video, so here it is. I'm gonna clip his tongue, clip his ear, I'm gonna do a chaos with him. I'm gonna do a chaos with him. Then after that, I'm gonna give him to the police out of his head, you know. We're gonna do a chaos. Och ta hans familj. Och ta hans namn, efternamn, vem efternamn, samma efternamn till han. Alla på en gång de ska dö. He is basically saying a lot of stuff and you know a lot of the these stuff he is just telling a reporter that is from Swedish television and asking him stuff. And it's just a very typical Swedish meme. And anyways, for this one I chose Crooked Kingdom by Labor Dugo. And you know why I chose this? Because this guy kind of reminds me of Cass. Like to be honest, Cass would do everything in this book uh to save the person that is being captured you all know who i mean if you read the book and i just feel like Cass and this guy kind of has the same vibe because they would do anything to any person if they like hurt them or hurt the ones that they loved so it was kind of obvious but i still think it's kind of funny but uh yeah this one you will understand because this is a swede or you kind of understand it this is a swede uh, old man trying to talk english and he's not very good at it at English. So he says this. No, I don't think so. And he is supposed to say, no, I don't think so. And he just says so, which is so in Swedish. So you probably understood it. Anyways, but the book I chose for this was Aristotle and Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alire Sanes. I still don't know how to pro pronounce his name. I'm sorry. So I chose this book because you all know who have read this book what i'm talking about probably uh there is a person in this book who's kind of like i really don't feel that way and then everybody is like i don't think so i think you're lying to yourself you know and at the end we get to see that he was kind of so yeah 
This is another one from Swedish Idol. She is basically just screaming, it's unreasonable. And um, yeah, she read it. <laughs> so for this one, I chose Miss Burn the Final Empire by Brendan Sanderson because at the end of this book, um, you're like, that is unreasonable. That is so absurd. That could not just have happened, and then it did. So I feel like this fitted very well because, gosh. Another one is a very, very famous Swedish comedian that did a series about this guy, and he was trying out new things, and then every episode he gave everything four out of five toasts. Even though the thing he tried was really shitty, or if it was really good, he always gave it four out of five toasts. Four out of five toasters. Canon cool. And for this meme, I chose Wonder Woman by Labor Dugo. So I chose this because I thought the book was both really bad and also really good. Like, it, I gave it four out of five stars. Uh, that was also a reason, but at points I was like, this is so bad, you know, and I still gave it four out of five stars And at points I was like, this is so good, but I still gave it four out of five stars So yeah, it kind of fitted the meme actually. <laughs> this one is also such a typical one because it is this uh, the, This happened some years ago in Sweden. It's a lot of tram cars in Sweden who get stopped because it's snowing and stuff like that So this guy is saying I haven't seen one tram car today it has been snowing and no one is going and everyone is still and then this happens jag har inte sett en enda spårvagn under hela morgonen det står helt stilla vad jag kan se i alla fall i, i alla fall de turerna som går in mot centrala stan jag står alltså på avenyn där det normalt sett vid den här tidpunkten är väldigt väldigt stark eh, trafik av, av spårvagn so I chose the book Arch Enemies for this by Marissa Mayer. I chose this because it's a thing that's happening right in front of their noses and they can't see it, which is kind of hilarious. So this was definitely a book that fitted this meme. So I'm sorry if I heard in the end a little, my camera is running out of battery, literally now, I so I really have to finish this video. But like and subscribe if you have not, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!